Hey everybody. Uh, so we've already done one or a couple of videos on segmented bowls, uh, but in today's video, we're just going to break down how to figure out uh, how long of a segment you need and uh, the angle at which you need to cut it. Uh, so first, I want to talk about the length, the segment edge length, and the edge length is going to be the long end of the uh, of the segment. Uh, so to figure that out, you need to first know your radius. Uh, so half of the diameter, the width of your bowl. So once you have that number, you are going to figure out the circumference of the bowl. And to figure out the circumference, we've got 2 times pi times the radius. And we're going to divide that number by the number of segments that you're going to use in your bowl. For example, if I were to use a 20 segment piece, or a 20 segment ring, and my diameter is uh, 12 inches. So the radius is 6. So we're going to have 2 times pi times 6. And that number, 2 times 3.14 times 6 equals 37.68 and we are going to divide that by 20. Gives you 1.884 inches. So approximately 1 in 7 eighths. So the second edge length is going to be 1 in 7 eighth inches. And that's your segment length. And you're going to do that for every uh, every ring that you that you're making. Now let's talk about how to figure out the miter angle of your cut. A circle is 360 degrees, and so you're going to divide that by two times the number of segments. So again, let's use the 20 segment uh, the 20 segment example. So you have 360 divided by 20 times 2, so 40. And that's going to give you 9 degrees. Very similar to a, uh, a square or a rectangle with 90 degrees. Again, a square or a rectangle is still 360 degrees. Time, or divide, that, divide 360 by 8 and you come up with 45 degrees. And that's, it's that simple. So if I wanted to do, say, a 10 segment ring, I would do 360 divided by 20. And that's gonna give you 18 degrees. Eight segments, 22 and a half degrees. Now most uh, miter fences uh, for your table saw have a built-in stop at 22.5 degrees. Uh, if you are making a ring, the fewer number of segments that you have, you just have to make that make sure that your ring width is uh, is a little bit wider because you're going to have uh, significantly longer edges. And the more segments that you have, the the shorter your uh, your edge length is going to be, and so the more round of a circle you're going to have right out of the gate. So that's it. It's, it is uh, relatively simple. Uh, and if you, uh, if you have access to it, uh, there are many, many uh, free apps that you can use. Uh, one website that I've used in the past is uh, Block Layer. They have a segmented uh, ring calculator in the uh, in the app itself or in the uh, the website itself. Uh, Woodturner Pro 
is the program that I use most often uh, where I can open up and see the design uh, as it comes to life. And uh, yeah. Tom, do you have any questions? Did I leave anything out? No, I just wanted to go back and put emphasis on this part that I didn't think we emphasized enough in the original video. And okay. I appreciate you taking the time to do that. Oh, it's not so, a problem. Uh, anyway, I'll, uh, I'll list the links to the reference items that you mentioned and, uh, and we'll go from there. So thanks for watching. Thank you, Alan. Thanks, guys.